Hi folks, this is a quick breakdown of what I put in the DPG newsletter for January. I'm just putting the finishing touches to what you can see in the newsletter. Make sure it all looks okay on your mobile, things like that. So what we have in the newsletter this week, this gentleman looking very relaxed here. Just trying to, trying to sort of use that to symbolize that when you need your CPD, Come to the community. We'll take care of that for you. Um, the first um, item on the, the newsletter is um, an, advertise, an advertisement to, to join qualifications. So if you're on one of our qualifications, probably not relevant to you. But if you are looking, there is a there is an offer on this, this month to for some money on money off. A bit of a discount there. So um, feel like, feel free to share that with people if you can. Going to what's ha actually happening in the community. We have on the home page the uh, my little curation blog. There is the first thing I mentioned in the, the newsletter. So looking at that a little bit closer in, here is, is this month's approach. And you can see that what I've tried to do uh, in bold is try to pick out terms that you may see pop up in assessments and assignments, things like that. So you can just pick out if any bits are relevant to your assessments. And also that, that uh, you may be able to use in the workplace, of course, maybe use them as stepping stones to other bits of a CPD. That's the idea. I've also put a little picture of, of my CPD log there down towards the bottom. It'd be great to, to see any screen captures of your CPD records as well to see how you're getting along. But let me know if you've got any questions on that, if you want to know how to access that. The other thing we have in... Um, in the community is, is of course the events calendar so one of the the, the ones i've mentioned in the, the newsletter is this cpd essentials for busy people so what we're going to do in that sarah hobbs who you will have seen in uh, you may have seen in some of the videos from career bursts she's going to be interviewing a panel about how they do their cpd when they do it how they fit it into their busy lives the panel will be helen jeffries who is one of the facilitators here at dpg it will be ad howes who um, runs his own consultancy for digital skills and myself, I'll be one of the panelists as well. So I'll be chatting on there too. You'll see um, there's some other events on there. Um, there's some study skills uh, webinars going on. These are repeats of ones that I've done over the past sort of three months. So if you've been to them already, you're more than welcome to come along. But the content will be roughly the same, hoping to catch or give the opportunity for, for uh, people that weren't around three months ago to come and see those sessions again live. So we'll be talking about meeting assessment criteria, so picking out key words from the assessment criteria like evaluate this and evaluate that and um, um, analyze and uh, identify and what are these what what do these terms actually mean what does critically assess mean what are you looking for them to do in assessment we'll investigate that in that webinar there's one there on workouts and we're also going to be looking at um, manually manually referencing so as opposed to using ms word to do the referencing for you if you haven't got that function available to you come along to that webinar and i'll show you how to uh, build referencing um, manually what else do we got um we have cpd we have the career development forum in the community there's that's mentioned in the newsletter as well if you haven't been to career burst yet come along have a look there's a cloud-based CPD log. There's evidence-based career advice. There's new content in there all the time. It's, you personalize it. You make it do what you want to do. And it's free. And it's a really, really good tool. I've also popped this on the YouTube channel as well, this video, I think, in a bit. But you've probably already accessed that to get to this point. So we should be good to go. That'll do. That's the end of the video. Uh, hope to see you in the, in the community soon.